Hi, my gorgeous Berkeley's Grumptious Delicious Gemini. Welcome to your love tarot reading. Today we are taking a look at you and your person, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble dating, marriage. Oh my gosh, the card just flew out. Okay, two of wands. All right, you're wondering if this person has moved on. So this is you versus them. We are assuming some kind of a rift or separation. There's a lot of wonderment. <laughs> wonderment is not the right word. It is morning here in Cyprus. I am not a morning person. All right, but we're doing your uh, good morning tarot. Um, you're both wondering if the other person has moved on. And, you know, both people are kind of, I don't want to say haunted by the past, but there is still a, um, something that binds you like a soul contract or something. If you believe in soul contracts. I'm, you know, kind of been on the fence when it comes to like how these are defined um, in the new age. I know people don't like me saying new age community, but I just kind of call it that because it's like shorthand for everything. Um, Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Moving on energy. Who's moving on? Who hasn't moved on? Who's repressing feelings? I think you see this person, Gemini, moving on, Bibu, and you feel like, wow, like they're like posting stories about like they're having so much fun, like they don't seem, they're not like messaging me, they don't want to be, you know, they're not trying to talk to me. They haven't moved on. They have not moved on. Page of Pentacles, because what they're thinking about is sending you a message, but it's taking a long time and they're scared. They're scared to get their feelings hurt. All right, let's see. Please show me your trolls. What is the situation between Gemini and the person? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, Gemini, I love you so much. You know, your mom loves you so much. Also, Gemini, if you are new to the channel, uh, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see, baby. Your mommy, a kiss. Mm, give me another kiss. Good morning, baby. If it's morning for you. We're doing another set of videos today in the evening, so later on today, wherever you are. Um, it's going to be your general energy vibe check and love. And also, I am doing a, a live tomorrow, um, May 5th. Uh, it's going to be around like 2 p.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m. Pacific time, around 5 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be celebrating the eclipse in Scorpio, because your mommy's a Scorpio sun and rising, but I got that Gemini lifestyle, so you know how it goes. You're my sparkly little bibbids. You're my lucky stars, Geminis. You don't even know how much I love your energy. I'm never met a Gemini I didn't like. <laughs> and even if I didn't like them, I respected them. <laughs> All right, anyways, you, interesting energy coming through because you're uh, prominent in the reading for your person. Your person feels about you the way your mommy feels about you. You got the sun here. You're at the center of their universe. This person, but you know what? This person is like, interesting. This is coming through in eclipse season. This person, it's putting on a show. You could be dealing with a Leo or someone who has a Leo placement, like prominent in one of the a big three or maybe in their Venus or something. They're like, put in on this show. Like, I'm fine. Never even touched me, you know? It's like those cartoons, like from the, like, I don't know, 1960s or something when, you know, like the cowboy gets shot and they're like, I didn't even touch me. And then they drink some water and like all the water comes out of the holes. It's kind of like that. Like, this is that person right now, like, no, I'm fine. Look at me. I'm fine. I'm living the life. They're not. They're despairing. Ace of Swords. All they think about is the harsh ending between the two of you. This is definitely an ending. Let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. Oh, Gemini, why is it always so complicated? Now you got the moon, see? Like, eclipse season. Ace of Cups. This is a beautiful love. If this is a himbo bimbo, anyone in between you met on Tinder on the Tuesday, somebody who met you, immediately they knew that they wanted to give you that big cup of love. You were sent from high up above. <laughs> okay, now we're just rhyming, okay? Songs, I don't even know. Whatever, I feel like that's a song. Okay, it's a <laughs> Gemini lifestyle. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't like, I'm not, I don't have Gemini in my big three, but like, I feel like I do. Like maybe there's like a fourth that we don't know about, like the secret, you know, big four. I don't know. Okay, so Ace of Cups. This person fell in love with you instantly. They know that the connection is deep, it's strong, it's coming from the goddess of love herself. You're like this gift from high up above. Uh, the moon. There is confusion between the two of you. There were misunderstandings. There was uh, a lack of clarity if it's a new person. It's like both of you weren't sure where you stand. There could have been some deception, some deception. 
happened here and you wanted to move forward my baby the chariot you wanted to move forward you wanted to understand why there is a lack of clarity maybe you felt like you didn't know where you stand this person wasn't giving you the clarity let's see why also reunions at the bottom of the deck four of wands so definitely this person's like i'll see you again gemini mm -hmm. let's see why eight of wands communication was bad this person wasn't good at communication. Why? Five of Cups. Because they're afraid of love and they're afraid of vulnerability. They've never loved like they loved you. Even if it's super new, I'm telling you, it was instant. For some people, it really is like that. Um, and I believe that. You know, uh, I know we have like a lot of like, you know, people are afraid of like love at first sight and stuff like that because it's not like... You know, we're, we're very afraid of vulnerability. People want to, you know, date for years and like check each other out, take it slow. And then it's like, you know, life kind of runs away with you. I believe in love at first sight. I believe in those deep soul connections. That thing that, you know, that is the goddess of love. That's the spiritual side of love. That was love at first sight for this person, but they've never experienced it before. And they were afraid of it. And they didn't know how to deal with it. And they don't know how to communicate love. There's something about this person that they could be quite successful, Gemini. They could be quite flashy. They could be quite high status. They're used to people courting them. They're not used to, um, not maybe seducing, but, you know, like charming or, or having to, like, chase after someone and all of this. And that's definitely what you expected because you are the highest of the high, baby. You are the gem of the zodiac. You are the diamond encased in a ruby, encased in a sapphire. Mm, slithered in gold. All right, so yes, you expected that. This person didn't know how to communicate that to you, and it made you insecure about the connection, made you doubt it. You're like, well, you got to make headway or else. <laughs> and they didn't know how to do it. So things ended. You were very disappointed. This person is a disappointment in love, always have been. They never felt like they did with you. They freaked out. If it was a more established connection, this was an ongoing situation where one person is saying improve communication, improve communication is always at play. You need to tell me you love me, you need to make me feel special, blah, blah, blah. This person just was not able to do it. And again, on the surface, I think this is a very successful relationship. You could have a beautiful big house, you know, beautiful cars, you know, whatever, anything you wanted. But when it came to that intimacy, when it came to making you feel special, making you feel loved, you felt like this person either either wanted to be the main character or they didn't know how to express love, even though they were like flashy and showy on the outside. Uh, but this person sees you as their one and only, the three of cups, they're choosing you still, no matter what. No matter what. Maybe also for some of you, I think you needed this person to actually propose or something like that. You wanted like the next stage of the commitment and they couldn't do it because they didn't know how to do it. They, they're afraid of being romantic. And now they're like, all they want to do is propose. And, and if it's not something as formal as that, it is something to do with commitment. Their intention is to send you a message right now. That's all they're thinking about, baby. Page of Cups. And then the Queen of Swords in terms of what they're actually going to do. I'm going to pull another card on this just to make sure. Uh, this is your own energy, baby. Gemini, this is your own energy. So that's what they want to do. They want to come to you. But, you know, Queen of Swords can also be someone who's quite harsh uh, in their communication. Might be someone who's coming in. Let's just see what they're going to do. And maybe this person's going to come in. Because they're kind of mad. Yeah, they're kind of mad at you. For, <laughs> look, I'm... <laughs> They're in their ego, okay? These things happen. They're kind of mad at you. Think what I see in May 2023. This person's coming at you, but they're gonna be a little bit, it's not gonna be like, Gemini, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Here's the ring. No, they're gonna be like, we need to talk, cause like, you still have my whatever, you know? <laughs> like, we should have one more conversation for closure. <laughs> it's gonna be a little spiteful, and it's gonna be a little cold. But their um, intention with that is to work it out, the Seven of Pentacles. But they might actually like invite you for some closure conversations, some bullshit like that. But they actually mean it's like this is their ego. There's a lot of ego around this person. Remember, they're coming up in the sun. Even though secretly their world revolves around you, it's all about you. They're coming, you know, that's how they want to be seen. It's very difficult for, for them to apologize or come through as like asking or begging for forgiveness. They're gonna be like, well, we should meet and like just get some closure. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, Gemini. You're dealing with this person. You know who this is. We should talk. <laughs> maybe it's been a while, you know, maybe it's been a while. Maybe the sun's been going around. Um, 
I mean, sorry, the earth's been going around the sun. But, but I'm not, like, I'm not that. I can read and write. Okay. I'm just thinking, um, thinking medieval. Medieval. Uh, actually, it wasn't even medieval. Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, my God, Gemini Pipel. This is so funny. I'm, I need to stop talking and just, like, show. I'm going to start showing the cards and just, like, telepathically transmitting the information. You know, so many people click in on the videos and they're like, I wouldn't normally watch someone like you, but nice reading, which fair enough. Okay, anyways, yes. So, but it's kind of like that. You know, it's like you, you, the way this person loves you, it's almost like the sun is going around the earth. You know what I mean? Like you destabilized them, you deorbited them. And, but, but they're, but they're the ego. It's, but they are still the sun. So they're like, let's just talk. And then in the talking, what's going to come out is that they want to work it out. They want to assess the situation. They want to found it, find out, you know, what went wrong. And they're going to want to learn from you. But they're going to need some love from you as well, some love and care, because they don't feel confident in being vulnerable still. But they want to improve that for you. So it's up to, to you what you want to do about this, my baby. It's all about free will on this channel, Gemini. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my readings, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and like the video, because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. <sighs> I'll see you tomorrow for the live. All the information about the live will be posted in the community tab and on my Instagram. That is linked in the description box below, so pay attention to that. Uh, I love you, my baby. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Give me that.